Quiet on set, standing by, camera, action. Welcome to our tutorial on lighting. Lighting not only directs the audience attention to what you want them to see. Um, uh, guys, have we uh, forgotten something? Oh, sorry. Lights, camera, action. Better. As I was saying, lighting not only directs the audience's attention, but when crafted well, brings mood and emotion to a film. Hard lighting, when there is a big contrast between light and shadow, can bring intense complexity to a scene, such as this in Apocalypse Now, or the warmth that soft lighting brings to many romantic scenes. When used with skill and purpose, lighting can scare, build intrigue, or bring a sense of magic to your story. But to begin your lighting journey, let's start with the basics. Shortly, we'll go into the principles of a three-point lighting system, which is the foundation of how all scenes are lit. But first, let's look at some common mistakes for beginner filmmakers and how to rectify them. When filming indoors, scenes can be shot from a distance with not enough light. To remedy this, turn as many lights on in the room as possible. And if you want the audience to see the actors and their feelings, get the camera closer. You may want to go from a wide shot to a close-up. Don't position the actor directly under the lights, unless you want these dark shadows under their eyes. Positioning the actor slightly back from the light will help achieve a more evenly lit face, bringing out the eyes so the audience can engage with what the actor is feeling. Filming with a window behind the subject can present problems. To remedy this, use the window light to illuminate your subject by making sure the light is coming from behind the camera. This goes for filming outside as well. Try to avoid shooting into the sun, but rather shoot with the sun behind the camera and have it illuminate your subject. When filming outdoors, the sunlight can be harsh and present problems with shadows and contrast. There are a couple of ways to deal with this. If possible, film in the shade as it will give more even light. You can also adjust the aperture on the filming device. In the case of an iPad or iPhone, simply press on the screen at the point where you want to adjust the light. A slider will appear like this and you can adjust it up or down as needed. So these are a few simple tips you can use to improve the quality of your lighting. And when your film goes up on the big screen, they will make a big difference to the look of your film. Three-point lighting forms the foundation of how many scenes are lit in films. As the name suggests, it illuminates a subject from three different points. The light at each of the three points has a distinct function from the other. The key light, fill light, and backlight. First, the key light. This is usually the primary light with the brightest exposure. It's generally positioned near the camera at a 45 degree angle rising slightly higher than the actor's face. It will light up most of the face and cast a shadow on the far side, giving the subject dimension and depth. Next is the fill light. This light is for literally filling in the shadows created by the key on the opposite of the subject. Consequently, this light is positioned to mirror the key light on the other side of the camera, more or less at the same 45 degree angle. However, by adjusting the dimness of the fill light, you can affect the mood and atmosphere of the scene. For instance, a bright fill light will create a more even exposure which might be good for presenting to camera on a YouTube video. Making the fill light dimmer will increase the contrast and give your subject a more film noir, cinematic look. The interplay between all three lights, but especially the key and fill lights, is where you can get creative and decide on the look and feel of your shot based on the story you want to tell. The third light in the three-point lighting setup is the backlight. Sometimes referred to as the hair light or rim light, the backlight's primary function is to provide depth to the shot and separate the subject from the background. By positioning the light behind the subject on the opposite side of the key light, it creates an outline or rim of light around the subject's head. Again, you can play with the brightness of it and see what effect it creates for the mood of the scene. So that is your introduction to the basics of film lighting. Remember, filmmaking is an art, and while these rules help with achieving a good level of lighting, have fun experimenting and finding ways to light your scenes that enhance the story you are telling. At the very least, always consider lighting in your filmmaker's mental checklist, because... Guys, really? <sighs> okay. Because you don't want to be left in the dark. Ha ha ha, very funny guys. Okay, cut. Ugh, I'm out of here. What? Ah!